Welcome back again to Paul's Model Works, and uh, today I'm going to be making a tip video for you guys. Um, I've had a few subscribers that have asked me how uh, I do my detail painting, um, as far as just the small, you know, details inside uh, the interior of the car, um, engine details, and different things like that. So um, I'm going to share with you guys a little bit of what I do um, that works for me. I'm sure there's lots of different ways to do this and a lot of different guys will probably have different methods that work for them um, but this is what works for me and hopefully it will help you guys out um, some of the things that I would suggest would be to pick up a set of uh, detail brushes um, that's what this is here there is all kinds of uh, brushes um, that I have they range from you know the ones here with quite a bit of uh, bristle all the way down to just these little tiny detailed ones um, there on the end so I would recommend a good set of uh, detail brushes I picked these up at um, Hobby Lobby I think they were about five dollars um, and there's five brushes there so it's a pretty good deal it's about a dollar a brush um, and they're a, a good quality brush so um, that would be a definite must that I would say. The second thing that I use a lot of is just a simple uh, toothpick. And this is great for when you need to just dab paint, you know, in a really tight spot. Um, if you're wanting to paint, you know, a button or uh, maybe a bolt or something like that, this is just a great way to just take a little paint and dab it on. So um, those are basically the only tools that I use when I do my detail painting and that is pretty much it so let me uh, show you guys here a little bit of uh, some stuff that I've got uh, here is a dash that I've uh, got out of an old kit and um, I'm gonna show you guys real quickly uh, kind of what I do so uh, here I have um, this is the model masters uh, just the silver chrome trim paint um, this is great paint for, uh, you know, just giving kind of that chrome look inside. As a matter of fact, this uh, steering wheel right here, that center area is actually painted with that chrome paint, and it looks pretty, uh, pretty convincing. So, um, first thing I always do is I just shake my paints up. Um, you know, always a good idea. Uh, it's probably a better idea to stir them, but for me, I just usually shake them up if I know I'm just doing something small with them. So, uh, once you get it shook up really good, you're ready to go. Um, on here, I don't know how well you guys will be able to see this, but um, there's a couple of uh, little things that I'm going to paint. There's some buttons right here underneath um, the right side of the steering wheel. That would be for the stereo. And then there's a couple of knobs over here on the left side of the steering wheel. So, um, I am just going to paint those and show you guys how I would do that. For the buttons, I'm going to actually use the toothpick um, just because they're pretty small and uh, I don't know, uh, probably need a smaller brush than what I have. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the toothpick and so that's where this comes in handy. Um, what I usually like to do is take the toothpick, kind of dole it down on the end just a little bit. You know, tapping it against your table or whatever you've got will kind of dull the tip just enough so you can pick up paint on it and then what I like to do is just dip the tip very lightly inside of your paint you barely have any on there but it's just enough to transfer over and then what I will do is I will just take my uh, toothpick and continue to re-dip it in there and then just dab it on the top of every one of those little buttons you're just dabbing the very tip of your toothpick on there just enough to transfer um, a little bit of that paint over and so we'll just do that here real quick and I'll paint the tops of these little buttons and then I will show you guys uh, what I've got.
Okay, so the tops of the buttons have been painted, and so let me show you guys a little closer in here. Let you see that, get it to focus. Okay, and there you can see um, the tops of those buttons have been painted. One of them, it bled a little bit on, so you have to be kind of careful. Uh, with your toothpick but it gives you a nice clean dot there to paint with um, and it looks pretty good so uh, next thing I will show you is the handle uh, right here on this side I'm gonna paint that but I'm gonna use one of my small brushes alright so I'm gonna use probably Oh, my next to smallest tip brush for this one. Basically the same kind of idea as the toothpick. Uh, I'm just going to get a little bit of paint on the tip of my brush. Just enough to say there's a dab on there. And then you just want to carefully paint across the top of whatever it is that you're wanting to paint and you'd be surprised how well you can get um, the paint to spread especially if you're using uh, this silver chrome paint you don't really need a lot just that one you know dab in there will be enough paint to paint something simple like just like the handle like that so it's you really don't need a whole lot to even worry about messing with that at all um, same thing as if you've got an interior tub on your car and you're wanting to paint your uh, you know door handles or you're wanting to paint the uh, window cranks um, same difference you know you're just gonna do exactly the same and get a little bit of paint on the end of your brush when I say a little bit I mean just barely you know dipping it in there at all and then just come in and paint in your door handle and then you can paint in the window crank just try to keep your hand as steady as you can and you should be okay um, and that's pretty much it as far as that goes uh, now you have a complete you know little detailed door there um, you know, there's always more you can do and adding more things in. Um, on some doors, you know, there's more detail. So you can see there we have the uh, door or the window crank and the door handle painted inside of there. Um, and that's really as easy as it is. Uh, one other thing I did want to show you guys is if you're planning on doing like two tone seats or anything like that, um, one thing you're going to want to do is know how to do masking um, and this you can actually do this on door uh, panels as well um, sometimes you know the top of the door above the handle will have like a, a area that's the same color as the seats or something like that so this is great for that as well but uh, you know if you just have your regular seat and say you want this center area of the seat here to be um, you know a different color than the outside then one thing you can do is you can paint uh, your seat, say the color, say you wanted the center area to be black and you wanted this outside area you know to be red or something like that then what you would do is you would just need to use some uh, tape and if you just get some good blue painters tape this will actually work really well or uh, you can pick up some of this uh, it's the Tamiya masking tape this is a thin roll. I don't have a thick roll right now, but you can get it, you know, where it's quite a bit thicker and um, be able to do stuff like this with it. So, but just for this purpose, I'm going to show you guys uh, using this blue painter's tape. So, you'd want to make sure you lay your tape down on the seat. Um, you want to do the same to the bottom and to the uh, back of the seat. But after you lay it down, just make sure you go along um, the creases of where the inner part of the seat is and just make sure you get that push down in really well and then it should be pushed in so you can really see the detail in the seat then all you need to do 
is get you a good exacto knife and you're going to start cutting. Um, you'll just want to cut right inside of those lines that you pushed in of where that center area is and you don't have to push real hard because you don't want to go into your seat too much but just push right in there and run along those lines you should get a nice decent cut and yeah there you go and now your center area of your seat is taped off you would do the same to the back area and make sure you push it down real good after you've um, peeled the tape off because sometimes it likes to pull it up a little bit but do the same to the back area right here and then you would have that center area masked off and whether or not you're going to use spray paint or if you're going to brush paint it, then you don't have to worry about um, you know, it, it bleeding into your center area here. And then when you're done, all you would do is just take this uh, tape off, the center part, just peel it off, and you would have the two-tone seat like you'd be wanting. So really, detail painting is very easy. Um, it's not hard to do at all. You just need to get yourself a good set of brushes. I definitely pick up a box of toothpicks. And um, if you're going to do any masking, then you need a good X-Acto knife. And get you some decent um, painter's tape. Don't get cheap painter's tape. It just doesn't seem to work that well. You want to get a good, decent uh, brand. And um, you will be able to do all of the detail painting that you are wanting to do. So hopefully that helps. Uh, don't be afraid to try is my biggest thing. Um, you know, if you don't try, then you're never going to be able to do anything. So don't be afraid to try. You know, if you mess up, you can always paint over what you messed up and try again. Um, you know, so don't be afraid to do it. Give it a go. And uh, like I said, hopefully that helps some of you guys that were needing some help with detail painting. And um, I will be having some more tip videos coming up soon for some various different things that uh, some of you guys have been asking me about. And uh, try to get those to you guys oh, sometime here soon. So keep your eyes peeled and uh, keep coming and checking back on the channel.